Hello and a very warm welcome to Special Report. I am Bhavna Gulati Nayar. In this program, we bring you a detailed analysis on the contemporary issues. In this edition, we will talk about the successful completion of one year of 17th Lok Sabha. The 17th Lok Sabha first commenced on June 17, 2019. In the past one year, 17th Lok Sabha has created many records and passed historical bills. So let's take a look at how the 17th Lok Sabha was formed, the productivity of each session and historical moments recorded. A new Lok Sabha was elected on May 23, 2019. With a resounding victory in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, BJP-led NDA government formed the government for the second consecutive time. <laughs> On 25th May 2019, a function was organised in the Central Hall of Parliament House where newly elected MPs of BJP-led NDA government formally elected Prime Minister Narendra Modi as the head of the government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi administered oath along with Council of Ministers at Rashtrapati Bhavan on May 30th, 2019. I am Narendra Damodar Das Modi. I am a member of the Vidhi Dwara Sthapit Bharat Ke Samidhan Ke Prati Satchi Sraddha or Nishtha Rakhunga. The NDA's tally stood at 352, significantly ahead of the UPA's 91. Let's now look at the constitution of the 17th Lok Sabha. The number of male MPs are 464, female 78. It is the highest number recorded since 1952 elections. The first term MPs in the 17th Lok Sabha are at the number of 265 and those who are re-elected from the 16th Lok Sabha are at the number of 230. The average age of an MP is 54 years in the 17th Lok Sabha. The youngest MP to be elected in the 17th Lok Sabha is 25-year-old Chandrani Murmu. A. Mani Chandrani Murmu. Murmu, a tribal woman born from Kyonjha Lok Sabha seat in Odisha. She represents the Biju Janta Dal. It was a grand opening for the Modi 2.0 government in the parliament. The first session of the 17th Lok Sabha saw more than 30 bills being introduced by the government, most of which were passed. Since 1952, this was considered the golden session for Lok Sabha. This was the best performance by any government in the opening and budget sessions in the last 20 years. The decision to conduct the first session of the 17th Lok Sabha was taken during the cabinet meeting of the newly elected government. It followed with the constitution of 17th Lok Sabha. Date, June 17, 2019. On June 17, 2019, the newly elected Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, addressed media before the first session of the 17th Lok Sabha. आज प्रथम सत्र प्रारंभ हो रहा है अनेक नए साथियों के परिचय का एक अवसर है और जब नए साथी जुड़ते हैं तो उसके साथ नया उमंग नया उत्साह नए सपने भी जुड़ते हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि पक्ष और विपक्ष के दायरे में बटने के बजाय निष्पक्ष भाव से जन कल्याण को प्राथमिकता देते हुए हम आने वाले पांच साल के लिए इस सदन की गरिमा को ऊंचे ऊपर उठाने में प्रयास करेंगे 
The budget session of Parliament was held from June 17, 2019 to August 6, 2019. It was the first session of the 17th Lok Sabha. It was earlier scheduled to end on 26 July but was later extended for business till 6 August. In 17th Lok Sabha, the oath-taking session was combined with the budget session. Whereas, Parliament used to have a short session for oath-taking after the election of new Lok Sabha. This session used to be followed by a budget session. The session was also important as the union budget in this session was presented by the first woman full-time finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman. Manni Pradhan Mantri Ji. Main. Narendra Damodar Das Modi. The first two days of the session started from June 17 and were completely devoted to the oath taking of newly elected members of the parliament. The oath taking of new members was overseen by the pro tem speaker Virendra Kumar. Mesri Omrila ko apna istan gran karne ke liye amantit karta hu. June 19, 2019 was marked as the historic day. As on this day, new speaker was elected for the 17th Lok Sabha. He is Om Birla. BJP MP from Kota was unanimously elected the speaker of the 17th Lok Sabha. Om Birla won his first Lok Sabha elections in 2014 and was re-elected in 2019 from Rajasthan Kota Bundi seat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi moved the motion for Birla's name for election of Speaker for the 17th Lok Sabha. Today, अनुप्रेरित भी करेंगे और उसके द्वारा ये सदन देश को उत्तम से उत्तम दे पाए एक कैटलिक एजेंट के रूप में एक पदाशिन के जिम्मेवारी के रूप में और सालों की सामाजिक संवेदना वाली जिंदगी जीते के कारण मुझे विश्वास है कि उत्तम तरीके से चीजों को कर पाएंगे This being the first session after general elections, the President Ram Kovin addressed both Houses of Parliament assembled together in terms of Article 87 Clause 1 of the Constitution on June 20, 2019. My government has been working on the mantra of everyone and everyone and everyone and everyone has been working on the mantra of everyone and everyone has been working on the mantra. मैंने इसी वर्ष 31 जनवरी को इसी सेंट्रल हॉल में कहा था कि मेरी सरकार पहले दिन से ही सभी देशवासियों का जीवन सुधारने, कुशासन से पैदा हुई उनकी मुसीबतें दूर करने और समाज की आखिरी पंक्ति में खड़े व्यक्ति तक सभी जरूरी सुविधाएं पहुंचाने के लक्ष्य के प्रति समर्पित है। राष्ट्रपति के अभिभाषण पर धन्यवाद। The vote of thanks on the president's address was presented in the Lok Sabha by Union Minister Pratap Chandra Sarangi and was supported by Dr. Hina Gavit. The proposal was discussed in the Lok Sabha for 13 hours 47 minutes as opposed to the 10 hours allocated for it. राष्ट्रपति जी ने अपने भाषण में हम भारत को कहाँ ले जाना चाहते हैं, कैसे ले जाना चाहते हैं, भारत के सामान्य मानवी की आशा आकांक्षाओं की पूर्ति के लिए किन चीजों को प्राथमिकता देना चाहते हैं, किन चीजों पर बल देना चाहते हैं, उसका एक खाका खींचने का प्रयास किया। राष्ट्रपति जी का भाषण देश के सामान्य मानवी ने जिस आशा आकांक्षाओं के साथ इस सदन में हम सबको भेजा है 
उसका एक प्रकार से प्रतिध्वनि है और इसलिए इस भाषण का धन्यवाद एक प्रकार से देश के कोटि कोटि जनों का भी धन्यवाद है धन्यवाद जी द यूनियन बजट वॉज प्रेजेंटेड ऑन जुलाई फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन बाई दी फर्स्ट फुल टाइम वुमन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन The first session of the 17th Lok Sabha registered highest productivity in the last 20 years. Members of the 17th Lok Sabha created a productivity record in the maiden session by working for extra hours and clearing a record number of the bills. Ki vidhek ko parit kiya jaye jo sadasya iske paksh mein haa kahe jo sadasya virodh mein na kahe mere vichar mein mere vichar mein निर्णय हाँ वालों के पक्ष में हुआ है हाँ वालों के पक्ष में हुआ है प्रस्ताव स्वीकृत हुआ विधेयक पारित हुआ During the budget session and the first session of 17th Lok Sabha, Lok Sabha had sittings for 37 days. During this session, Lok Sabha worked for 280 hours, which is 125% of the scheduled hours. This is higher than any other session of parliament in the past 20 years. Consequently the session also did not see any deadlock over legislative business and at no point was the house adjourned over disruptions or protests the house sat late to complete listed business in 73 hours and 14 minutes some of the important bills were introduced in the beginning of the session itself 33 bills were introduced in lok sabha and 35 were passed during the session 118 private member bills were introduced with none being passed 488 matters were raised under rule 377 1066 matters of urgent public importance were raised during zero hour 500 start questions were admitted in which 183 were answered orally and as far as unstart questions are concerned 5711 were admitted On the legislative side the 17th Lok Sabha has created a record as laws relating to countering terrorism labor reforms strong laws against frauds death penalty for child sexual assault and other important measures were passed Prime Minister Narendra Modi was able to push through even bills like triple talaq repeal of article 370 and the citizenship amendment bill even in the upper house where the government is in a minority On account of a divided opposition let us now look at the historical record made in the passage of the bills in the first session of 17th Lok Sabha 265 first time MPs almost all got a chance to speak during the session 229 out of 265 first time MPs and 42 out of 46 first time women lawmakers spoke during zero hour on 18 July 2019 161 member of parliaments were given chance to speak during zero hour धारा 370 भारत को कश्मीर से नहीं जोड़ती है धारा 370 भारत और कश्मीर को जोड़ने से रोकती है और आज आज वो रुकावट ये सदन का अगर आदेश प्राप्त होता है तो आज ये रुकावट हमेशा के लिए दूर हो जाए The two houses also passed a resolution scrapping special status accorded to Jammu and Kashmir and bifurcating the state into two union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. प्रश्न है कि माननीय गृह मंत्री द्वारा प्रस्तुत किया गया सामाजिक संकल्प स्वीकृत किया जाए जो सदस्य इसके पक्ष में हां गए जो विरोध में ना गए मेरे विचार में निर्णय हां वालों के पक्ष में हां वालों के पक्ष में सामाजिक संकल्प स्वीकृत हुआ मुस्लिम वुमेन प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ राइट्स ऑन मैरिज बिल 2019 The list of bills passed includes the historic legislations such as the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Bill to criminalize triple talaq during the session. The bill seeks to make the practice of instant triple talaq which allows Muslim men to divorce their wives by uttering the word talaq thrice in spoken or written forms or via electronic communication a penal offense. It prescribes a penalty of imprisonment up to 3 years for the offence and provides for subsistence allowance to married Muslim women and their children. Bharat ke samvidhan ka jo core philosophy hai jo main teesri baat keh raha hu sir usme gender justice mahilaon ke sath nyay bhartiya samvidhan ka mool darshan hai ek ye samajhne ki zarurat hai. Aur sir 
वो चाहे किसी समाज के आते हो उनका धर्म ईमान कुछ भी हो हिंदुस्तान की बेटी हिंदुस्तान की बेटी है और भारत का संविधान सभी बेटियों को एक समान देखता है After the record breaking first session of the 17th Lok Sabha then came the winter session of parliament during this session parliament celebrated two milestones a function was held in the central hall of parliament to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the enactment of the constitution this was also the 250th session of rajya sabha the winter session though brief witnessed constructive debates and important legislations being passed The winter session of the parliament witnessed another eventful journey of 20 days. It commenced from November 18, 2019 to December 13, 2019. The situation in Jammu and Kashmir, economic slowdown, unemployment and the government's plan to bring citizenship bill were some of the emerging issues before the start of the winter session of parliament. The nearly month long session saw some key bills being tabled and passed. Winter session was also remarkable in terms of question asked. The maximum number of questions were taken up in the last 49 years since 1971. In the 20 day long session Lok Sabha had 20 sittings. Lok Sabha worked for more than 100 hours spending 130 hours and 45 minutes. Out of 130 hours of Lok Sabha more than 56 hours were spent in legislative business. The lower house also spent over 48 hours in non-legislative business that is almost 17 hours on questions and 5 hours on financial matters. 4 hours were spent on other issues in percentage terms Lok Sabha achieved 114% of productivity. Total time lost during the interruptions or adjournments was 6 hours and 39 minutes. The house sat late to complete 28 hours and 43 minutes in listed business. In winter session 18 bills were introduced and 14 were passed in Lok Sabha 28 private members bills were introduced 365 matters were raised under rule 377 934 matters of urgent public importance were raised during zero hour discussions were held under rule 193 during this session as far as questions raised 380 start questions were admitted 140 start questions answered orally and 4370 unstart questions were admitted This was also a 250th session of Rajya Sabha to mark this occasion a special discussion on the role of Rajya Sabha and the need for reforms was held this year was also the 70th constitution day A special function was held in the Central Hall of Parliament on 26 November for the members of both the Houses of Parliament to commemorate the 70 years of adoption of the Constitution. On this occasion, President Ramnath Govind, Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah, Speaker Om Birla, and Minister of Parliamentary Affairs addressed the gathering. हमारे संविधान निर्माताओं ने अपने ज्ञान, विवेक दूरदर्शिता और परिश्रम द्वारा एक ऐसा कालजयी और जीवंत दस्तावेज तैयार किया जिसमें हमारे आदर्शों और आकांक्षाओं के साथ साथ हम सभी भारतवासियों का भविष्य भी संरक्षित है भारत का संविधान विश्व के सबसे बड़े लोकतंत्र का आधार ग्रंथ है यह हमारे देश की लोकतांत्रिक संरचना का सर्वोच्च कानून है जो निरंतर हम सबका मार्गदर्शन करता रहता है सारे विक्रम तोड़ प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑल्सो अपलोडेड द सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इन दी प्रोग्राम मन की बात ऑन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हेल द पार्लियामेंटेरियंस फॉर ब्रेकिंग सिक्सटी ईयर्स रिकॉर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी पीठासीन अधिकारियों सभी राजनीतिक दलों को सभी सांसदों को उनकी इस सक्रिय भूमिका के लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई देना चाहता हूँ प्रश्न संख्या वन वन ऑफ दी मेजर हाईलाइट ऑफ द सेशन विटनेस्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वेन ऑल ट्वेंटी स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन वर आंसर बाई मिनिस्टर्स कंसर्न ऑन वन डे ड्यूरिंग क्वेश्चन आवर मैं सभा को बधाई देना चाहता हूँ कि आज सभी मान्य सदस्यों के सहयोग से आज हम सभी सभी माननीय मंत्रीगणों के सहयोग से हम आज 20 प्रश्नकाल पूरा कर पाए 
संसदीय कार्य मंत्री जी सर मैं सा, सारे सदन के ओर से रिसेंट इन रिसेंट हिस्ट्री इट इज अ रिकॉर्ड दैट ऑल द ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन हैव बीन टेकन ऑन रिकॉर्ड एंड ओवरऑल आंसर हैव बीन प्लेस बिफोर दी बिफोर द हाउस आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू एंड आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल द मेम्बर्स एंड थैंक ऑल द मेम्बर्स and having providing that such facility i once again thank you on behalf of entire house the key takeaways from the session were the passage of the citizenship amendment bill 2019 the citizenship amendment act 2019 makes way for granting indian citizenship to non muslim refugees from pakistan bangladesh and afghanistan The winter session also saw the longest over 12 hour sitting of Lok Sabha on December 9 when the house took up the citizenship amendment bill 2019. The bill had been introduced in its previous tenure but it lapsed following the dissolution of the 16th Lok Sabha. Pure desh ke samne spasht karna chahta hu ki sarnarthi aur ghuspetiye ke beech mein maulik antar hai jo dharmik pratarna ke aadhar par apne ghar ki stiyo ke इज्जत बचाने के लिए स्वधर्म में जीने के लिए अपने धर्म को बचाने के लिए यहाँ आता है वो शरणार्थी है और वो जो विदाउट परमिशन घुस कर आता है वो घुसपेटिया है दोनों के बीच में बहुत बड़ा अंतर है और ये बिल शरणार्थियों के लिए है ये बिल धार्मिक लघुमतियों के लिए विशेष सुरक्षा ग्रुप संशोधन विधेयक टू हजार Other important bills passed during the winter session were SPG amendment bill Jallianwala Bagh National Memorial Amendment bill bill extending reservation of ST and STs in Lok Sabha and state assemblies taxation laws amendment bill bill prohibiting electronic cigarettes chit fund amendment bill bill protecting rights of transgender persons the arms amendment bill the bill to grant property rights to the residents of india staying in unauthorized colonies was also passed by both the houses thank you very much the year 2019 was considered highly productive for the 17th lok sabha in total 51 bills were introduced and 49 successfully passed in lok sabha the year 2020 of the 17th lok sabha began with the third session which was also called the budget session The budget session of parliament was held from January 31, 2020 to March 23, 2020 with a recess from February 12 to March 1, 2020. The session was scheduled to have 31 sittings and end on April 3, 2020. Sampurna desh ne sabhi doctors, nurses, swasthya karmi, safai karmiyo, airport ke karmachariyo, police karmiyo, media ne jis tarike sevaye pradan ki उसके लिए हम सब उनका अभिवादन करते हैं हाउ एवर कंसिडरिंग द पब्लिक हेल्थ इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन ड्यू टू कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक पार्लियामेंट एट जर्न साइन अडाई ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी The budget session of the parliament began on January 31 at 11 a.m. with a speech by President Ramnath Kovind who addressed joint session of both Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. यह दशक भारत के लिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है इस दशक में हमारी स्वतंत्रता के 75 वर्ष पूरे हुए इस दशक में हम सभी को मिलकर नई ऊर्जा के साथ नए भारत के निर्माण को गति देनी है मेरी सरकार के प्रयासों से पिछले पाँच वर्षों में इस दशक को भारत का दशक और इस सदी को भारत की सदी बनाने की मजबूत नींव रखी जा चुकी है Union Budget 2020 was presented by the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on February 1, 2020, despite being a Saturday. General discussion on the Union Budget was held in both the houses in the first part of this session. Lok Sabha saw over 20 hours of discussion on the President's address. Me Sabha Sado, Maniya Dekhji, Mani. Parliament was interrupted on a few occasions as the opposition members raised the issue of lack of law and order in multiple parts of Delhi. Seven members of parliament from Lok Sabha were suspended on March 5 for the remaining time period of the session. पहली बार हुआ है जब अध्यक्ष की be suspended from the service of the house from the remainder of the session. This suspension was revoked on March 11. मैं चाहूँगा कि कोई भी सदस्य सदन से 
निलंबित करना निष्कासित करना ये मैं अपेक्षा करता हूं कि इस आसन से कभी नहीं होना चाहिए कम से कम मैं तो ये नहीं करना चाहता आप विश्वास रखें भरोसा रखें केवल सदन की मर्यादा को बना के रखें द इशू ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन डेली वॉज लेटर डिस्कस्ड फॉर फोर एंड हाफ आवर्स ईच इन लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा The Lok Sabha on March 12 conducted its business till late at night in a marathon sitting that crossed 12 hours while concluding debate on the demands of grant under the control of the Ministry of Railways for 2020-21 skipping lunch as well as dinner breaks. The total number of sittings in Lok Sabha were 23 during the budget session in 2020. Total number of sitting hours were 110 hours and 15 minutes. Time lost due to interruptions were 30 hours and 3 minutes. House sat late to complete business in 21 hours and 48 minutes. 14 bills were introduced and 15 were passed during the budget session. Matter raised under Rule 377 were 399. 436 matters of urgent public importance raised during zero hour. 420 start questions were admitted. 98 were answered orally and 4830 unstart questions were admitted. Some of the important bills passed during the budget session include the budget appropriations bill, the finance bill, the direct tax vivad se vishwas bill that aims to simplify resolution of tax disputes, budget of Jammu and Kashmir and an amendment to the insolvency and bankruptcy code. Some of the other bills passed includes the mineral law amendment bill 2020 and the central sanskrit universities bill that seek to give them central university status. Several important legislative work and bills got cleared during the past one year of the 17th Lok Sabha. The journey has been proven to be very productive and under the leadership of the Speaker of Lok Sabha, Om Birla, who always stressed on the smooth functioning of the House and gave ample time to the new MPs to speak on important issues. As the budget session of 2020 had to be curtailed due to COVID-19 outbreak, government now needs to clear the pending legislative business in the upcoming monsoon session. That's all we have in our special report on one year of 17th Lok Sabha. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Namaskar.